what it comes down to is the fact that you have all the worst people in the Republican Party, whether if it is the donor class, the never Trumpers from 2016, even if they eventually came on board with Trump, they're trying to get rid of him. And they're trying to use this guy who they hype up, who has like good a good PR team, uh, as John mentioned, conservative media, the establishment conservative media loves him. But they're trying to prop this guy up and bait him into taking uh, this opportunity, which he's going to lose, by the way, and try to go out there and divide the party and subvert Trump and take the torch away from Donald Trump. And it's not going to work. And he's somebody who was in good favor with a lot of the Republican primary voters, Trump supporters, you name it. And he has thrown all of that away to take the neocon bait, hundreds of millions of dollars that are just going to be going down the drain that could probably be used for uh, Donald Trump to defeat Biden in November. But instead, he's taking the bait from these people. And as a result, I don't believe he's going to win. And every step of the way, he's, you know, laid down his campaign. He's down by 35 points and he's acting like somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. The Twitter space announcement was a disaster. His lead surrogates are wasting their time attacking anonymous accounts on Twitter, 16-year-olds on Twitter that may be like replying a, a one-liner at them or something like that. So either way... It's not going to work, and this is just the beginning of the end for Ron DeSantis. His best case scenario for his career, the rest of his career, is he's going to be viewed as somebody like Ted Cruz, and he's never going to be able to achieve the mantle, and that really speaks volumes. And that doesn't even talk about his lack of charisma or all of the other negative attributes policy-wise or how he you know, governed nationally in Congress, etc. So that's kind of my take on the whole thing. People, and like Rep mentioned, You've got this campaign and they have their sort of like bulldogs, their piranhas going after and picking fights with like the MAGA influencers, with GOP Josh of all people. And it's just completely unserious. And this is the problem. I mean, Trump has obviously had a lot of issues with personnel. Uh, I think those have largely been corrected. But the people who gravitate towards DeSantis are like fundamentally like we'll say feminine people. I mean, you can like look at the way his comms apparatus operates and your first instinct would be like, wait a minute, I think this is being governed by like women and homosexuals. And then you look at actually who is running it. And it's true. Like, that's what it is. It's this very like catty sort of just like, it's like, can you stop? And so I'm kind of glad that you've got this like class of MAGA influencers on Twitter who are like keeping them at bay because there is like very serious work that Trump is doing behind the scenes. Uh, I mean, his like articulation of his policies is the best policy platform we've ever seen from any candidate, like period. Um, and so, you know, DeSantis thinks that's like unserious. He thinks he won't have to address it. That's not true. And so this is going to be the problem. Like DeSantis has a huge war chest he's working with, but as the public sees more of DeSantis, they are off put by him. Whereas the opposite is the case with Trump. As the public sees more of Trump, they love him, which is why we don't need these like Christopher Nolan-esque commercials edited. We don't need <laughs> these like epic pieces by articles. You had a guy on Twitter, my all-time favorite Twitter account. You know, I almost retired from politics last week. He followed me. Comrade Stump, my all-time favorite Twitter account. I've been following this guy for seven years. And he made the like can't stump the Trump videos back in 2016. And it was the original like Trump just is himself. And then there's like the dubstep, there's the memes. You can't do that with DeSantis. Like the more people see of him, the more they're like, uh, this guy just doesn't have it. Whereas Trump, all you have to do is put Donald Trump in front of a rally with tens of thousands of people who have traveled from all over, waiting outside in the cold. And he goes up there with a three by five note card and he just talks and people love it. And you can't teach that. And so I feel bad for DeSantis. It really is like a, Mac, a, Macbeth, a Macbeth story. We've got this guy, pretty good politician. And then you've got all these women, his wife in particular, whispering into his ear, telling him that he can go with the king, go with the king. And now his career is going to be over. It's Jover for DeSantis because he, he couldn't use uh, the more rational faculties of his brain. I think it's selfish of him. If you are for you know, the advancement of American ideals, let's say, whatever whatever name you want to label on the good stuff, put a label on as, I would say, let Trump run in 2024, and whether he, if he wins, great, he's got four years left, and if he loses, you got four more years of, you know, caring for the state you claim to care about, and, you know, making it the, the gold standard, because people already think that of Florida, they already treat it as the gold standard for a lot of things. And if you have four more, imagine what you could do in four more years in Florida if 
people already think you're at the gold standard, you go to platinum, I guess. So I don't understand why he can't just wait another four years when he talks about how great Florida is doing. And he is passing a lot of stuff, but now he wants, it's like he wants to prove something. And that's where my suspicious suspicion comes in. Excuse me. When you're doing such great things by most people's accounts in Florida and you haven't been there for very long, uh, what is it? Four or five years now. And maybe longer what i don't remember how how long it's been um About and four. all of a sudden yeah okay and all of a sudden you're just like no i want more power so soon that's what that's what gives me a lot of suspicion because unless he thinks that trump is going to do such a bad job and a job that's way far off what he would do with the country i don't see why you would just not wait another four years collect your kudos from you know right-wing people and some people who claim to be center which i don't believe in and just continue to to gain more and more momentum and by the time you're ready in another four years trump is gone no matter what he doesn't have a, he can't i mean i suppose he could run again but that would he have a lot of steam lost if he lost this time Otherwise, he wins and then he can't run again.